Hello, let's learn about the gate entry screen. We can go to the gate entry screen through WMS from the INCREF homepage. Acknowledgement of inward boxes is done in the gate entry screen. The invoice of the goods along with the lorry receipt, AWB, transporter details, the number of boxes, taxes receipts are added into Omni against the internal purchase order number in gate entry. The same PO can have multiple invoices or multiple gate entries. To add new gate entry click on Add New Entry. The Create Gate Entry screen will appear. To Map External Batch, click on Map External Batch. To create gate entry, select PO or SDN number. Purchase order or stock transfer note number, by clicking on Select. By clicking on Select, the below pop-up window will appear. You can use the date client supplier filters or enter the PO number directly to get the PO. Enter the external PO number. And click on Search. PO will be populated select the PO. You can see the selected PO and you can change the PO if the wrong PO is selected. Enter the invoice number. Invoice total quantity. Invoice total value. Invoice date. Material received date. Transporter. Vehicle number. LR or AWB or BL number. Select state tax form type. Number of boxes. The number of stickers will be printed based on the value given for the number of boxes. Enter remarks. Upload the invoice document. E-way bill. LR or AWB document. Once all the mandatory fields are filled click on submit inward box IDs will be printed. The inward box IDs have to be stickered to the received boxes. To map external batch, click on map external batch. Select BO or STN no. Purchase order or stock transfer note number by clicking on select. By clicking on select, the below pop-up window will appear. You can use the date client supplier filters or enter the external PO number directly to get the PO. Enter the external PO number and click on search. Select the PO. Enter the invoice number. Download the template the maximum row limit is 5000. And fill the details client SKU ID, manufactured date, expiry date and external batch ID. Delete row 2. Save the CSV file. Upload the template. Click on Submit. Search Gate Entry. This option is used to search the existing gate entries and find out their status. The gate entry can be searched by using start date, end date, client, supplier, internal PO number, or invoice number. Click on search. Gate entry details are displayed. Gives the details like gate entry ID. Documents, the invoice, LR, and state tax documents are displayed. External PO number. Client. Supplier. Material received date. This is the material received date entered during add new entry. Status of the gate entry whether it is closed or open. Remarks remarks added during the gate entry. Number of boxes This is the number of boxes getting inwarded for the gate entry. Action The option to reprint the box ID and close the gate entry. Adding new entry to existing PO. Select existing PO. 
you will get the option add new gate entry to existing PO. Fill out all the mandatory fields and click on submit. To reprint the box it under action click on the reprint box ID. Close gate entry. The gate entry can be closed when all SKU quantities are inwarded. Once this is done, the close gate entry option can be used to close the gate entry. The confirmation screen will pop up, you can enter the gate entry remarks. And click on confirm to close the gate entry. Thanks for watching the video. To know more details about gate entry, please refer to the document in video description.